Hello everyone. Hi again. Welcome back to another video on lead coding series. We're going to solve a new problem that is merge intervals. We have already covered all the easy section problems on header structure. Now it's time to understand and learn medium and hard level problems on header structure. So let's first understand what is the problem statement guys. So here we have given an array of intervals where in the given intervals we have a starting index and ending index. And what we actually do, we will merge all the overlapping intervals and return the array of non overlapping intervals that cover all the intervals in the input. So here in the example one, we have an intervals array. So basically we have different range of intervals and intervals is simply an array of those range of intervals. Okay. So here it is given the example as range as 1, 3, 2, 6, 8, 10, 15 and 18. So just understand what is uh, the problem statement. So here suppose this range from 1 to 3. So what are the linear graph of 1 to 3 range? So suppose I think this is this one from 1 to 3 and for 2 comma 6 it is simply from there to this and for 8 comma 10 so it is this and for 15 comma 18 it is simply this so i'm just gonna ask you so how can you say that which part is overlapping or not so simply you can see that this part okay this part of these intervals is overlapping so we can say simply that is the merge interval is simply 1 comma 6 okay 1 comma 6 so which is 1 comma 6 which was actually 1 3 and 2 6 so since this part from 2 to okay from 2 to 3 is overlapping so why we gonna merge this interval and here 8 10 is simply not overlapping with 1 6 and same way 15 comma 18 is not ever overlapping with 8 10 so uh, we have the merge intervals array of merge interval is simply 1 6 8 10 and 15 18 so this is basically the problem statement guys and we have to simply return array of merge intervals and also you can see uh, from this example from 1 4 4 5 the merge interval is 1 comma 5 now what we actually do we're gonna solve this problem and one thing is that you're gonna notice in the problem statement it is not mentioned anywhere the intervals okay the merge intervals the given array of intervals is sorted or not okay but here in this example you can see that you can see that intervals are sorted with the respect of the first index okay so for 1 2 8 15 so it is sorted in increasing order with respect of first index of every element okay so this is basically not mentioned in the problem statements but it is given here sorted so suppose interviewer ask you this problem so maybe he or she mentioned that the intervals are sorted or not so if he or she mentioned that intervals are sorted that is fine and if they have not mentioned that intervals are sorted or not it is unsorted or not or maybe he said or she said that it is unsorted so you have to ask it uh, whether it is sorted form or unsorted form okay and if it is not sorted that means we have to sort it okay so if the intervals is not sorted so we have to first sort it so i'm taking an example where intervals is not sorted with the respect of first index of every interval so here you can see that 1 8 3 2 15 it is not sorted but i'm just going to sort this interval with the respect of first index value of every interval so here it is 1 3 2 6 3 5 8 10 15 18 so you can see that 1 2 3 8 10, 15 are sorted in increasing order so this is the very first step of this problem okay so if it is given it is sorted then it's fine if it is not given then you have to sort it now now we have to first understand what is the idea behind this problem so simply simply you can see that uh, for this problem statement it is sorted 
okay so what is the linear graph for this problem so simply for 1 3 it is this for 2 6 we gonna assume this this is for 2 6 and for 3 5 it is simply this okay same way for 18 it is this and for 15 18 it is simply okay so this is for 15 18 so this is basically the linear graph of this merge intervals sorry of the intervals array and here you can easily see that uh, we're gonna merge this part okay and also this part i'm just gonna because it is six and five so up to five so we can easily see that we can merge up to six okay from one to six and this part is not overlapping so we're gonna we don't need to merge it okay it will remain as it so here the output is 1 6 8 10 and 15 18 so here you can notice two things first thing is that a uh, few intervals are overlapping and few intervals are not overlapping so we have two cases first one is for overlapping okay and another one is for non overlapping okay so how can you know that this interval is not overlapping simply the lower range okay of the lower range of this interval it is higher than the upper range of this interval so why it is not overlapping same way uh, the lower range sorry the lower range of this interval the, which is 15 is higher than the upper range of this interval that is 10 so why it is not overlapping so you can easily say that for the non overlapping i'm just going to write here and for non overlapping and o for overlapping okay so here you can easily say that if this part we're going to compare the upper range and lower range of every intervals okay so the upper range and the lower range of the next interval upper range of the first interval so if the upper range of last or you can say that the last interval is higher than the lower range of sorry the lower range of the last interval is higher than the uh, sorry uh, the higher interval previous interval then it is non overlapping so here it is simply 10 is lesser than okay 10 is lesser than 15 so 10 is lesser than 15 so this is basically the case of non overlapping okay the upper range of previous interval so here the upper range of previous interval is 5 and the lower range of next interval it is 8 so 5 obviously is less than 8 okay so this is basically the condition for non overlapping so we're gonna just write lesser than for non overlapping simply what we're gonna compare it we're gonna just compare upper range of present interval and lower range of next interval okay so this is the case of non overlapping now what is the condition for overlapping guys so here simply uh, you're gonna see that for 1 3 and 2 6 how 1 3 and 2 6 is overlapping simply 3 is 3 is greater than okay uh, greater than 2 so if 3 is greater than 2 that means it is overlapping okay so so why since this 3 is after 2 so why it is overlapping also here you can see that 6 is greater than 3 6 is greater than 3 okay so this is the case for overlapping also suppose if this is also 3 this is 3 comma 6 that means 3 greater than equal to 3 so we gonna assume that if this is the condition that greater than and equal to that means it is the condition for overlapping now you understand the second step first step is we gonna sort the intervals second step is we have to find intervals are overlapping or not if it is lesser than lesser than means from uh, we gonna compare the interval which interval so basically the lower interval of the next interval lower index of the next interval and the upper index of the previous interval simply we gonna compare it and we gonna check it if it is lesser that means it is non overlapping and it is not lesser greater than or equal to that means it is overlapping simply so here now you have completed the second part now we have to return 
which interval okay we have to return the merge intervals okay we don't need like uh, our problem is not solved yet we only check intervals are overlapping or not but we have to return the merge interval so since we have to return the merge interval so for that we have to use a data structure so here i'm going to using a linked list okay so a linked list of intervals and after that we're going to come like uh, convert it into array of intervals merge intervals so for merging we're going to use a data structure a linear data data structure and there what we actually do so think about this suppose 1 3 and 2 6 it was 2 okay so it is 2 initially i'm just gonna it is all the links so it was 2 so simply think 1 3 and 2 6 1 3 and 2 6 so their merge intervals is simply 1 comma 6 okay and where this 1 comma 6 is it is in the link list part okay it is in the link list and after that here Uh, we have like this interval so where we will compare with so since we going to compare it with previous interval okay so since we have to compare with the previous interval but we have already solved this interval okay so why every time we will compare with the link list okay so the interval inside the link list which is already merged or not okay so why we uh, have to focus on this part so first step is uh, like we have understand we going to sort it second step is we will find which is overlapping and which is not overlapping okay and after that we will find uh, like uh, since we have to merge it so we going to use a data structure and here and here you can see that since we have already solved the previous interval so the things we are doing with the upper range of previous interval and the lower range of uh, the next interval so simply we will do this thing with the data structure part okay so i'm just going to erase this because here one thing is that uh, for this part like uh, which is for overlapping because we have already sorted this things since it is overlapping sorry since it is overlapping that means it is lesser than and so since it is overlapping so simply we will put the non overlapping intervals as it inside our merged uh, merged linked list okay so on in that in merged intervals array so we don't need to like like more focus on this part so right now we have to focus and understand about the overlapping index so how can we uh, put every index inside the linked list or merged intervals so here merge okay so the linked list of merge intervals or array of merge intervals so here suppose we have an empty linked list okay so i'm just going to use an empty linked list so simply in the beginning we don't know which interval is higher which is lesser so what we actually do so we going to first put that interval inside the linked list so here we have our linked list as 1,3 so this is the first part okay and the first part of third part you can understand in this way because the first part we have to sort it second part we have to find which is overlapping and non overlapping and third part is we have to add uh, some new data structure and we will do same the thing inside with the data structure so what we actually do we will check uh, simply initially the linked list is empty or not or that uh, list is simply empty or not so if it is empty simply we will put the first interval because we have to compare it with that interval so we have already covered this part so we will, will not go for this now we will go for the next interval and this comparison basically this comparison 3 comma 2 we will compare with this interval which is inside which is inside our linked list so we simply compare this 3 with this 2 okay and uh, we will not go for the previous interval because we are all already we have already solved the those part so here uh, in that iteration we reached here and we find that this 3 is greater than 2 this 3 is greater than 2 okay this 3 is greater than 2 that is overlapping 
and that is overlapping means what what we will do after that that is the fourth step okay so after that we have to find which value is maximum because the every range okay so for every interval there is an upper range so for this three it is three okay and this is six so which is upper range because we have to merge the intervals so why we have to always pick because suppose the, we have this kind of lines so we will always choose the upper range okay so here we find that six is higher than this three so we will put six there okay so i'm just gonna make a new linked list okay so so here we will choose uh, which range is higher so initially it was 1 comma 3 right now it is 1 comma 6 okay so we simply replace the upper index of the interval is uh, like uh, choose we will choose the higher value always okay now we will reach here because we already solved this part now we are here for 3 comma 5 so here what we will do we will do the same thing so we will compare this 6 with this 3 this is the third step and we will find that 6 is higher or greater than or equal to that means overlapping okay that is the third part which is greater than or equal to okay i'm just considering equal to also because if it is 3 that means it is also overlapping and right now what we will do now we will check we will check which value is higher okay so we will check both the range so here we have 5 and here we have 6 so we will choose the higher value so 6 is already higher so we will not replace it suppose is this this range is like 3 comma 7 then we will simply replace the value 1 comma 7 here okay so we have to when we gonna merge it we always have to pick the higher value okay so that is the thing so right now here uh, since it was 5 so we have to just make it 1 comma 6 okay okay so this is for 1 comma 6 and right now what we will do we will again because we have already this part solve this part now what we will do we will again check for the next interval okay so here we simply check 1 comma 6 with 8 comma 10 okay so the 6 is since it is lower than 8 that means it is the condition of non overlapping so if we will find the condition that that is non overlapping so we simply add that interval in, inside our linked list or array so here we're gonna put 8 comma 10 okay so we will put that element inside our linked list 8 comma 10 now we have since solved this part so before going to this part what we actually do so here again when we will reach at this interval so we will compare it 15 with which which value this 6 or 10 so that is the question because we have already covered this part so we have like we have traveled up to this interval so we are here okay and since we are using a linked list we can easily get this interval it is simply the last interval right now okay so here here what we actually do we will simply replace okay so we will simply can access the second index or the upper index of the last interval of the linked list and here we're gonna compare it same way with 10 with this 15 so we find that this is also lesser than 15 so what we will actually do it is a condition for non overlapping so if it is a condition of non overlapping we we'll simply put that value inside the linked list or array okay so that is the case and here this is 15 comma 18 and now loop ends so it is simply our merge intervals okay the array of merge intervals okay this is our output guys and now here is the source code okay so first of all we have a given a class solution as in the lead code problem 
so here uh, this is a uh, basically a function must and we have to return a 2d array that means array of array so simply uh, first array is for interval and second array is for array of intervals and here uh, what we actually do uh, we're going to pass the input as intervals array of intervals and here if the length is lesser than one is equal to one that means uh, if we have only one interval that means that is our answer guys if it is one comma three so if one comma three itself a merge interval so if the interval is like zero the length is zero so that is also the same it is an empty interval so we can simply return it okay or or also when we're gonna check that if that interval is null or uh, null or not there also we can simply return intervals so here uh, we're gonna check for the first condition if it is uh, empty or its size is one we simply return the intervals now here uh, uh, we are using a data structure okay so in the third part we have mentioned that in the first part we already sorted the uh, input okay and after that uh, we you gonna learn that uh, how can we check it is overlapping or not non overlapping and then we are gonna mention that we have to use a separate data structure to store the intervals so this is the data structure guys so i am using a linked list okay a linked list of what array of linked list so it is simply uh, we are gonna use uh, in a collection framework okay so here i am declaring a linked list and right now after that here this is the second part like uh, the first stage this in this line in the third line this is the first part of the problem if it is not given that the intervals it is not sorted that means we have to sort it so for that you are going to see that i am passing the first interval okay the first first uh, index of every interval so that means uh, uh, that means we going to sort it with respect of the first interval sorry first index of every interval so if you know the java 8 features you can easily understand this uh, arrays dot sort function okay so simply think that uh, simply when we use arrays dot sort we used to uh, we used to pass an data structure okay a simple one data structure so uh, as a argument but here we are passing two uh, two argument okay so think about the situation that if suppose you have to uh, you have to sort the uh, you have to make uh, your own function that means you have to pass two intervals first one is that uh, the basically their address and second one is that uh, we wanna like uh, which kind of a uh, sorting you want okay so there this is uh, if you are not familiar with this uh, compare method so that's don't worry you can easily understand this so it is a part of collection framework or you can say that it is a part of java 8 features okay so where we gonna use to compare with objects and if it is equal equal that means it returns simply zero and it is not uh, like lesser than it simply return minus one and uh, if it is greater than it simply return one so in this way we are gonna use since it is already defined so we gonna simply uh, we gonna use uh, that uh, function inside our code okay and it is basically uh, with the help of that we gonna easily sort any intervals or any group of objects okay so here the second part is simply we're gonna pass two objects and it is simply uh, sort that objects with respect of the first index value okay so understand this sorting algorithm so here uh, this is basically the first stage where we're gonna sort the our intervals and after that the main thing starts so here i am just using a for each loop okay so every time we're gonna uh, iterate like uh, every interval and here here you're gonna see that this is lesser than lesser than means the condition of none overlapping okay and in the else part means greater than or equal to so it is the condition of overlapping so if it is lesser than that means we simply add the interval inside our linked list so here i am doing the same also here you can notice that if list is already empty that means we're gonna add it inside our list okay so for the first interval we will simply add it and here uh, this part is basically for overlapping so that means greater than or equal to 
so for that you're going to easily understand that so what we actually do we will compare here which part is higher this is basically the last interval let's dot get last is simply gives the last interval of the linked list and one is simply the upper index of the last interval and we will compare this we will compare this with one okay with like uh, with the upper index of that iterated interval okay and we will find suppose 2 6 and 3 5 we find 6 is greater than 5 so we simply put 6 inside the our linked list so why we will simply put that value at the uh, upper index of that uh, interval which is already present in our linked list okay so this is the thing here and uh, here you already understand this part we simply compare two things first thing is that the second like higher interval okay the understand higher index of the first interval or uh, this first interval basically represent the interval which is already present inside our linked list and this part is simply the first index the lower range of the next interval okay and we will compare it if it is lesser than that means it is a condition of non overlapping and it is greater than or equal to it is a condition of overlapping okay and in this way we gonna add it inside the linked list so after doing this we build our linked list of array of merge intervals and we simply return and we will like convert it inside a 2d array and we're gonna use this new int list dot size basically the size of array okay so in this way we're gonna merge these intervals so guys uh, this is all about this problem so what is the time complexity so we're gonna use sorting so it is simply order of n of log n and also we're gonna just iterate uh, each intervals plus order of n so overall time complexity is order of n log n so but here you want to notice one thing that uh, this problem logic is very simple okay if it is a 1d array there is no interval kind of thing so it is a kind of very simple problem but here since we are using a computer we are using java features since we are using collection framework or 2d array since we are using a linked list of it array so kind of it looks like a very uh, hard problem but it is not like that so if you are familiar with these things if you are familiar with collection frameworks java features then you can easily solve this problem okay this is all about today's problem guys and if you think uh, this video really helps you in your interview so please do subscribe the channel also you can share this video with your friends which is already like uh, which which also prepares for uh, coding interview so thanks for watching and please do subscribe the channel